So here we have the new console and command center on the Crone Big X 480 through 630. As you'll notice, toggle switches are now gone and soft keys have replaced all of those rocker switches. The same hand control is used. A new scroll button, which you guys that are used to the older machines, you had the scroll button with the little green button. Um, here you have this scroll tool and arrow keys, um, you know, just a bunch of soft keys. Your emergency stop with your selector switch. Where before you had toggle switches, you had to know, well, I'm going to drive, I'm going to have the drive switch on. I'm going to chop, i got to have the field switch on. I want to sharpen my knives, i got to have the maintenance switch on. Where here, it's just a simple rotary dial. So, idle, road, field, maintenance. We'll go ahead and turn around. As you can see, those soft keys light up which ones are active. The biggest thing you guys will notice is this new display, which is also touchscreen. So, for your menu, you're going to hit chopper. Uh, you're going to get a display of a chopper. Um, then you're going to be able to choose which area uh, you want to select on the chopper. Uh, the flap speed on the end of the spout. Uh, your rotating speed. back go to engine here we can just see uh, of course this machine doesn't have power split activated um, of course you can adjust constant power uh, crop flow that's going to be the big one so, header, you can select what header it has, um, lifting gear, sharpening, how many cycles, of course, uh, your KP. But you can do the majority of this stuff from the home page. So if we go back home, and if we fire the machine up, looks right now, switch the road, you'll notice about an hour, engine RPM. But once you switch in the field, Here's where the uh, machine changes. Now you have engine RPM, load, mile an hour is up here, of course load again, and engine RPM. How many rows, header RPM, feed roll cabinet, uh, distance mode percentage, and your KP cap. And of course, then you have your rear suspension, which you can raise up and down here. So, as you can see, we'll go back down. Other than that, it's a 
a lot of things you guys are used to. Uh, just now you have soft keys. And a touch screen. So also error codes, we can click up here default codes, active error codes, history, of course, uh, controller overview. So we're all green. All controllers are online. Engine bus. All controllers of the engine bus are online. Auxiliary bus. Everything is online. We'll go back. Uh, you can do your customer, customer counter, trip counter, total count, stuff like that. Like I said, this machine is a lot more user friendly than the older machines. Um, of course, now it's got a cup holder, spot for your phone, spot the charger phone. Uh, I do have to say, this is kind of a hidden glove box. There's, there, uh, there's nothing there, but uh, operational controls uh, like. Uh, Auxiliary or uh, detaching, detaching the head. Of course, header hookups different. Uh, it's a totally different machine. Other than basically this hand control, the steering wheel, and of course the exterior of the cab. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.